Today we will be going over the basic instructions to fit tires over run flats. The first step is to put the wheel on the tire changing machine. This after deflating the tire and breaking the bead lock as per standard procedure. The next step is to break the bead on the one side of the tire. Now lubricate the inside of the run flat and the tire. The run flat has two cutouts. One is for the valve and the other is for the tire pressure sensor if fitted. It is important to always ensure that the valve is aligned with the valve cutout on the run flat. The run flat is inserted by folding the one side onto the other and then slipping it into the tire through the side wall. Tighten the run flat using an 18mm socket, ensuring that the cables on the two sides are tightened equally by tightening first one side and then the other. Make sure that by completion of this step the gaps in the run flat are equal in size. The final step is to use a torque wrench to tighten the two sides to 160 Newton meters. Lastly, replace the bead on the open side of the tire, inflate the tire and balance the wheel as per normal procedures. Removal of the run flat. Removal of the run flat is very similar to the fitment process. Break the bead on one side of the tire after deflating it. Once the bead is off, you will need a screwdriver, an 18 mm spanner and tire levers. Tension the cable slightly and use the screwdriver to pull back the ratchet. It's important to keep the tension on the cable at all times. After the run flat has been released, it can be removed from the tire. Inspect the run flat and tire for damage and replace with new ones if necessary. If there is no damage on the run flat, it can be used as many times as required.